Yo, what a great way to wake up. You see that juicy, buttery biscuits. Well, but biscuits aren't juicy, they're buttery. I mean, okay, you get the point, right? So I figured out how to perfect them. You gotta cook them, you gotta butter the pan, right? You gotta preheat the oven to 375, butter the pan, butter the biscuits on top and on the sides, cook them from 10 to 15 minutes, and then butter the tops again when you take them out. That's how you cook Popeye's biscuits perfectly. And they are amazing, I'm so full right now. Besides the point, back to art. Uh, I don't know if I showed this in the last episode, but I did this page, I finished this page with some emotion, what's the, what's the, expression studies? Uh, not really studies, just like a warm-up practice thing I did off of Line of Action. I'm glad they're branching out from just figures. And now they've got, like, expressions, they've got hands and feet, they've got animals as well, so that's really cool. But these are some expressions I did. I really like this one. This one also seems realistic, except the eyes are kind of creeping me out. Uh... You can tell there's a little bit of emotion in some of these, except for the ones where, like, the face isn't really showing. This one I didn't even finish. Uh, yeah, but that's what I did then. Right now I'm working on an armor design for this thing. It's a really heavy armor suit. I called it a juggernaut, but I don't really know exactly what it is now. I'm not quite sure. Here's where I realized the anatomy is pretty off, because it's a really bulky, heavy suit. And there's supposed to be a person inside, and that's becoming difficult for me. This, these were the original designs of the Juggernauts. There were three. There was the beat down on the left, there was the blade in the middle, and then the onslaught on the right. And this is clearly based off the onslaught. It's the heavier one. This one's supposed to, like, withstand missiles. It's got three arms, because, you know, Pacific Rim. Some basic color schemes that I came up with. And what is this? Oh. And then I just reimagined the blade one, as you can see in the middle. I really like the blade one. It's supposed to be like scary, but also like versatile. And right now I'm working on re expanding the juggernaut, the what's it called? The onslaught one. And these are all supposed to be like giant, not necessarily giant robots, but like. Larger, like, someone gets inside to pilot these. Like, there'll be a person about, like, in the chest of this one somewhere. Probably in the chest of this one. Well, in the chest of all of them. I mean, like, where else would you put a person? Like, it, it's not big enough for a person to fit in the head. So, like, there's a person piloting all of these. And I took the idea of the Blade Juggernaut, and I just expanded on it. Because this was an integral one to the story I'm writing, but... I wanted to expand on it, and what I did was I did some more sketches. I mean, I pretty much have the design down here. Like, my main points, my main design elements for this was, it has a scary mask, a scary head, a scary face, and potentially resembling a plague doctor. That was the first idea that I came upon. Also, it's got, like, these eyes. I don't know why I just don't zoom in. It's got these eyes. That are... I mean, they're cameras, but they look like eyes, and they're... They're drawn just a little too detailed. You know? And it's got three joints in the arm instead of two. Or two joints instead of one. Whatever. But it's got three sections, and then a big blade at the end. That's why it's called the Blade Juggernaut. And then I expanded on this, like I did this cool pose, where I don't know why this arm... Well, maybe it has three, it's just I didn't draw the other one. Or maybe one of the arms has two. I don't know exactly, but this is the idea for the... Ma I'll get to the mask in a minute. I just did this pose, maybe it has this thing on the back. Kind of like a tail, but not really. Like it helps it balance because it's so big. Not quite sure how that would work, or how that would attach on the back. Or how much mobility the tail part would have. Am I covering up the mic? I hope not. Um, but it was just an idea. Now the helmet, the head of this is an interesting thing. Because on this back, like this is definitely the more Plague doctor version of the helmet. Or the head. And this back part here is a machine gun. 
And what happens is the head can rotate 180 degrees. Maybe even, well not 360 because that wouldn't work so well for the machine gun. But it can rotate 180 degrees and fire a machine gun. And it can even fire out the back. So if someone manages to climb up the top of this thing, which I don't know how big it is exactly, but if they get on the back, it can tilt its head back and shoot at them. Or it can turn its head all the way around. It can rotate the cameras in its eyes so it can see and it can fire at them. So that's the idea. Interesting. There's some interesting ideas there. I just need to flesh them out. Alright, just real quick clip. I'm also working on... Now I'm working on clothes. I might transition next week into working on... Just general anatomy and figure drawing and poses. I'm not sure though. Like, I want to get... I definitely need to work on clothes. I mean, it's a pretty important part of uh, character design. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm just working on, like, drapery. I found some videos that were kind of helpful. Sorry if I was just covering up the mic. But just pr practicing from um, Google image results. Just people wearing clothes, shirts, and hoodies and stuff. And this was just, this one was something I made up. And then this was, I don't even know. That's another Google image result. And that's pretty much it. Um, I say next week I might transition to anatomy and figures because I really want to get that down. I mean, I know it's not something I'm going to do in a week or two weeks, right? But I want to improve that. Also, I'm thinking alternating between studying the entire body and then studying the head, just like painting portraits like I've been doing, is a pretty good way to go. And at some point I'll incorporate color, probably in like a side project or something. I'll just do some color. Just add like, maybe I'll do like a, I don't know, I'll do a painting of something and I'll try to do it in color, I don't know. But that's the plan right now. I'm trying to keep this vlog short, keep this editing to a minimum. So I'll see you all in the next episode. You already know what it is. I don't even know what it is. Why did I say that? Subscribe and follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Like my Facebook page and peace, guys. Oh, oh yeah, I haven't been uploading pictures to Facebook. My bad. Whoa, are those all my social media accounts? And you're telling me there's links in the description where you can follow me for more? What are you still doing up here? Go down there. Click them.